Oh lord. <laughs> Dropping the phone. Um, it is Tuesday. I didn't film anything yesterday. I, on Saturday, pulled my freaking back emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> this is why I keep saying I hate getting older. Because I am in so much pain. It's a little better today than it was the past two days. Uh, three days, right? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, I had to have Steven stay home from work yesterday because I couldn't even get out of bed. And now it's like I can't stand up. I gotta make lunch. Um, my best friend's husband's grandpa died last week. And the funeral is Thursday. So in two days... Um, and I, ha um, I agreed to watch her, um, her youngest son on Thursday, and I'm like, I really hope I feel better, uh, better by then. He's almost five, so it, it's not like I have to run around chasing him and pick him up and stuff. I'll be able to keep him entertained, I'm just hoping that I feel better by then, because if not, it's not gonna be a good day. <laughs> So, like, obviously, the whole family is going. She has no one to watch him. The other kids are going to be in school. Um, right, so, because I made a coffee this morning, and I haven't drank much of it. It snowed. It's, like, freezing and raining out right now, but there's snow on the ground. And Stephen forgot to bring his rain gear with him, so he's going to be soaking wet and freezing all day. <sighs> I almost wanted him to stay home again to help me today, but I'm like, nah, don't want to get in trouble for calling out too much. I'm like, I just feel like I'm limp limping around everywhere. I'm very slow. can't really stand up straight, which is what my main problem today, but at least, like, yesterday I couldn't even sit. It was one of those issues again where I could not find a comfortable way to sit. It is Wednesday already. My back's feeling a little bit better today. Not great, but it's workable. Um, I'm actually going to have Aiden not go to school tomorrow because... It's just going to be too much to be babysitting and doing school with Aiden at the same time. So um, He's missed like no school this year so far, so it's really no biggie. He's all caught up in his work. He's not behind on anything, so I'm really not going to stress over it. Whatever homework he has tomorrow, he can just do after um, my friend wraps up her son. So it won't be like this big deal that he missed a bunch of stuff or anything. Thursdays are an easy school day anyway because he doesn't have a bunch of classes on Thursdays. So if it was today, like Wednesday is his um, harder day because he's got speech and OT and everything. So he's not missing all those classes. He's just going to miss math, ELA, and social studies, which they've just been playing a game in social studies anyway, so it's not a big <laughs> deal if he misses that. Um, trying to make lunch. I'm doing my pasta again. I just, I never have ideas for what to have for lunch, like quick, easy lunches. Because, I mean, he gets an hour lunch break, but by the time I get his lunch... And like gets things cleaned up out here in the morning. I have like 15 to 20 minutes left to have my lunch. <laughs> I have to like cook something usually. I'm not a big sandwich person, so like I don't get lunch meat a lot and stuff like that. I'll go on a kick every now and then where I want like tuna fish all the time, but very short lived. It doesn't last very long. Steven should be calling me any minute. The, the lighting is probably going all crazy because it's super bright outside because there's still snow all over the ground. 
everything was icy last night. So it got down to like 17 degrees again after raining on top of the snow. So it snowed, then it rained all day, and it wasn't warm enough rain for it to melt the snow. So it was just horribly, it still is horribly slippery. This is super wonky because I moved, I moved the, uh, my arm, my camera arm thing to film a video last night and I like repositioned it and now it's crazy, but, um, it is 3.30. I've gotten absolutely nothing done today. Today was my, uh, babysitting day, so. Everything went well, I just couldn't get anything done, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now, is starting on work. I got the the video I filmed last night, actually, was the new ColourPop Multichrome Eyeliners, and I thought they were going to be the same colors as the Kaleidos ones, but there's only like two that are really close, and to be honest, I like the formula of the ColourPop ones better. They're smoother, they glide on easier. Um, yeah, I, d I just, the ColourPop ones are a fraction of the price. So if you ha had wanted those Kaleidos ones, go with the ColourPop ones instead. They're shiftier, <laughs> there's a better color selection, because two of the Kaleidos ones, the green ones, were very close to each other, um, in my opinion anyway. So... I would just go with the ColourPop ones. But um, I keep thinking today is Friday and it's not. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm not gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I've been wearing this sweater for like two weeks straight. I just put it on over whatever shirt I'm wearing every day. So it's not like it's getting dirty or like armpit on it or anything. But uh, this is like my most comfy, super cozy, stretchy sweater. So I just never wanna take it off once I put it on. Um, my Hamilton one, but I got Aiden his own cologne because he's been, every time he gets out of the shower, he wants a spray of Steven's cologne. I need to do my roots again, man. Um, so I wanted to get him his own and like a while back I bought him a bottle of Aqua Velva and I just feel like that's too strong for him. Like Steven told me that's like every, every little boy's first cologne is Aqua Velva because it's been around for forever and I just, uh, not that I don't like the smell, I just feel like it's very strong for him. So I found, there's a perfume place I've been going on that I found not too long ago that has like even name brand perfumes that I really like for super cheap. Like I got, there's a Loves one that I use all the time that's called Oh So Fearless and I couldn't find it anywhere for the longest time and it's on here for five bucks. It's like four ninety five. dollars So it's theperfumespot.com I think is what it is. Um, oh, I don't know if I saved it or not. I'm pretty sure it's just the perfume spot. Yeah, theperfumespot.com, and they have a section for kids, which I was like, oh, I'm going to see. Hold on. There's all kinds of pop-ups, though. I'm going to see if there's anything that I can grab for Aiden, and they're all really good prices. I believe the one I got him was $9.95. There's, like, there's an Iron Man one. There's a bunch of Frozen ones for girls, Disney Cinderella, Disney Belle, Mickey Mouse, Disney Rapunzel, Disney Snow White, Frozen Anna. So there's a bunch of Disney stuff. And then, oh no, the one that I got isn't even on here anymore. Hold on. <laughs> it's gotta still be on here. No, it's downstairs right now where I'd grab it to show you, but apparently it's not on here anymore. They must like sell out super fast or something. It's a Stormtrooper one and it came today and it smells really good. That's kind of a bummer. It's already not on here anymore. There's already way less kids ones on here than what was on here the day that I ordered it. That's craziness. It's like they're mostly girl ones now. The only, like there's Iron Man and Mickey Mouse and now all the other ones are, 
Harbor Lake Princess ones. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I guess you can't get that one right now if you wanted it, but I just smelled it and it smells really good and it's like a full-size bottle of cologne. So um, when he takes a shower tonight, he'll have his own cologne to use. My lips are so chapped. I don't know why. All I've been drinking is water because I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, not get my acid reflux to act up, even though this doesn't always help that either. I should be drinking milk, but like, I always drink lacto- I, I don't even drink milk, I only use it for cereal, so, um, but I always get lactose-free milk and it's the lactose that helps combat the acidity and everything. Like when, I, I always laugh on hot ones when people, like, people are on there who are vegan and they only want almond milk and stuff and I'm like that's not gonna do shit to combat the heat in your mouth because there's no lactose in it that always cracks me up um but yeah I, I'm gonna go get some work done because I need to I've got to get everything done before Saturday so that I can friggin um take everything to the post office on Saturday did I ever show you guys that I got the Happy and Polly, well, if these guys would get out of the way, the goth cat fountain? <laughs> um, I am kind of glad I never bought a cat tree from them, because this thing is not the greatest quality, especially for the, the price that they charged for it. Hi, guys. But they love it. These guys drink so much water, it's ridiculous. Like, that thing will hold two bottles of water, like two average by <laughs> I recognize two average bottles of water and I have to put another bottle in every day they drink like a bottle's worth of water every day I've never had cats that drink so much also like everybody says that they're more willing to drink from like running water from a fountain so I've had a fountain pretty much since I got them and this is the third one like I had a nice one that I got off of Amazon that looked it looked really nice but it was a pain in the butt to clean. The, I will give it to this one. This one's very easy to clean because it's just two parts and then you can take out the filter and everything. Um, he's like, why are you, tape why are you filming my, my water fountain, mom? Um, <laughs> but the, the Amazon one was really hard to clean. It was The filter was always getting clogged. Um, so that one was just a pain in the butt. And then I got a really cheapy one off Amazon that was on like one of my coupon discount pages. Whoa, I really need to really need to dust these fluke. Um that I think I paid eight bucks for. It just did it wasn't big enough and didn't hold enough water for the amount of water these guys drink. So I don't love the quality of it. I love that that it's easier to clean and they seem to like it, so Floki's constantly drinking out of it. Um but yeah, don't recommend. Like, I, I keep seeing a lot of reviews lately, too, for their cat trees that even though their cat trees are super cool, they're very crappily made. So I would just watch out if you order from there. You gonna finish your food or what? No? You being a good boy today? No peeing on anything? Thank you. <laughs> it is Saturday. I don't think I filmed anything yesterday, but I was working all day to make sure that I got all my stuff done to get to the post office today, and I did it. I feel so accomplished today, so that's that's a plus. Um, from the time Aiden finished school yesterday until 9.30, I was in here printing shipping labels to put on all the packages. I had to finish up all the Etsy orders that I had because Etsy gives you like well, I have my Etsy shipping for like 8 to 10, it's set to 8 to 10 days, so I have to make sure I get them out every week, because if you don't ship it within the time period that you have listed, they give you like, um, it's just negative against your, what is it called, star seller status, um, which pretty much every month I get the star sell seller status because I get... Um, you have to have like at least a 4.5 star rating, I think, consistently each month. Where is it? I can tell you exactly what it is. Um, 
your message response rate has to be 95% and mine's at 100. Um, your average rating, the target is 4.8 and mine's usually 4.8 and above. And then on time shipping and tracking, uh, is the target is 95% and mine's at, mine's at 98 and I don't know why. One order missing tracking info. How did it not have tracking info? I shipped them through friggin' Etsy. No, well, it's not telling, not telling me which one is missing it. I don't know. But anyway. I'm excited that I got all that done. So now I'm focusing on working on my collection that I'm going to be putting out soon and just the sales that came in after that last order. So that's what I'm doing. I have a bunch of crap I need to do today, so I'm just going to get to that, but at least I can stop worrying about the stuff that needed to get out today because it's all at the post office already. So I'm going to end the vlog for today because I have nothing else going on other than work stuff. My back feels a ton better. I'm super happy about that. It started feeling better actually on Thursday when I was babysitting. I was like, I'm so glad my back is not killing me today. It's still sore. Like now it just feels like a, a pulled muscle type kind of pain instead of that shooting pain. Um, but yeah, so I will talk to you guys next week.